Hello and welcome to another beautiful morning. This is a day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. We are grateful to God for waking us up today and the miracles of daybreak. My name is Tony Aba and it is my pleasure to welcome you to another moment of reflection, a light for the nation. This is a daily devotional program that is brought to you by the Catholic Church. Today we are looking at the topic, the power of silence. And Reverend Father Chijoke Majala is telling us more about the power of silence. name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Heavenly Father, we are grateful to you for the gift of today. We thank you for the numerous blessings you give to us. We thank you for the privilege you have given to us to come closer and closer to you. We thank you for speaking to our hearts always, especially through the system of silence. We thank you for all the blessings of today and beyond. Continue to be with us, nurture and nourish us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Good day, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I welcome you to today's reflection. The title of this reflection is the power of silence. Our world, no doubt, is noisy and getting noisier and noisier for so very many reasons. Uh, technological advancement, lifestyle, and uh, personal cultures are causing and creating a lot of noise in our society. Noise, somehow, has become a culture so much so that when places are quiet, people begin to complain and say, Oh, here is dull. Here is dull. Oh, put music, make some noise. Make some noise has become a balance, so to speak. And it is carried on almost everywhere, including inside the church. There is so much noise. A society accepts noise, maybe as some kind of uh, remedy or distraction to a lot of uh, difficult situations, noise and noise and noise everywhere, and it's increasing every day. But opposite of noise, of course, is silence. Noise and silence, which one has more power? Certainly, silence has power. And the scriptures has also proved this fact. And of course, personal experiences of individuals have also proved this fact. For instance, in the encounter between God and uh, Elijah at Mount Horeb, we notice that God endorsed silence and showed his presence in silence. After the numerous ordeals of Elijah, he went to Mount Horeb to rest, and God asked him to go to the top of the mountain so that he can show himself to Elijah. And Elijah was ready on the D day. Uh, a lot of occurrences happened on that mountain. There was whirlwind, well heavy wind, heavy wind that uh, seemed to herald the presence of God. But in the midst of the whole, uh, heavy wind, God was not there after the whole heavy wind. After the wind, there was earthquake. Earthquake that shattered the stones on that mountain it was loud and heavy, the scriptures tell us. And after the whole earthquake was God there in the earthquake, God was not there. And after the earthquake, there was fire, fire. Of course, in our time today, when we pray sometimes, we say we shout Holy Ghost fire. People believe that God is in fire. Of course, God should have appeared in fire. But in the midst of the whole fire, was God there? God was not there in the fire. After the fire came a gentle breeze. A gentle breeze on that mountain that blew. Quiet breeze. Representing silence. And God was in that gentle breeze. God was in the silence. Surprisingly, if we compare wind and earthquake, 
and fire. The, these first three as against silence, ordinarily, physically, by human thinking, who will make more impact. And God, being a great God, should have been in any of these three. But he wasn't in those three. He was rather in silence. And that encourages us also to look for God in silence. In the silence of our heart, God speaks to us. In a quiet environment, God speaks to us. But does it mean, therefore, that God does not also future in a place, or, or rather, to put it differently, does it mean that God uh, does not exist, that, that God is not in a place that is noisy? Let us say a marketplace, for instance. The answer is no. God is everywhere, certainly, because God cannot be limited by space. God is everywhere. But for us to hear the voice of God, we must recognize God in the silence of our heart. When our hearts are noisy, when we are turbulent inside, we cannot appreciate the presence of God. We cannot hear the voice of God. God can only be recognized in silence, in the silence of our heart, even though He is everywhere. He's in the marketplace, He's in every noisy place. But we can only hear him in silence, in the silence of our heart, even though we may be in the marketplace. Uh, and uh, various saints have encouraged us on the life of silence and encouraged us to pray in the silence of our, our heart or to make out some time to be in a silent place to be able to hear the voice of God. So one like St. John of the Cross encourages this silence a lot. The result for Avila says the same thing. What we read from Imitation of Christ, Thomas Akempis, tells us also that it is in silence and quiet that the devout soul advances in virtue and also discovers the secret knowledge of the scriptures. So ask God to give us the grace to make our time and hear his voice in the silence of our heart and also appreciate the power of silence. May he continue to bless us and his words in our hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. God our Heavenly Father, we thank you for coming into our world and blessing our world and blessing us. We thank you for hearing our prayers. We thank you for the privilege you have given to us to communicate to you always, especially in the silence of our hearts. Continue to hear our prayers and bless us both now and forever. Amen. Reverend Father Chizoke Majala is of the Catholic Archdiocese of Abuja guiding us in today's reflections. I believe you have understood the power of silence. In silence, they say, is golden, and we always sometimes need to be silent to hear from God what God is telling us, what God is teaching us, and how He wants us to live our lives. If you have questions that you want to share, please do not forget send us a short message on the numbers displayed on your screen, or you can also take advantage of our social media handles Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Let's follow the conversation and let's help one another to know and identify the power of silence. As we go out today, please do not forget. Reach out to somebody who is in their need of your support, and the good Lord will bless you richly. Bye for now, and have a lovely day.
Thanksgiving.